guys are Thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful supports that you guys have been supporting my channel. Um, I want to say if you'd like to connect with me, you can also connect with me via um, uh, catacon.com or via Clarity. It is a wonderful, wonderful uh, time. This month is going to be a month of change in the guards. It's going to be a wonderful thing. Um, this month is going to meet you with the sense of uh, you have uh, the energy vibration of uh, the Wheel of Fortune coming twice. So for some people, if you um, uh, get left out with the Wheel of Fortune, which is a lot of success and good luck coming to you at the fourth week then you will receive it in the fifth week this is just such a wonderful reading for you guys um, the first week is going to be a powerful week there's going to be um, it's going to be hard for you to make a decision about something because it's going to be a week where the energy of the world is here but before we go on um, and the month energy is the chariot so victory and success um, huge victory and success will be coming in for some of you Capricorns who have been going through um, a rough time and um, whatever problem there was the situation is going to be clean up and um, it's going to take you to some place which is much better than where you have been for the last couple of years and months okay so be aware of the situation this month is the month of fire fire brings the energy of the chariot the chariot is going to be um, the guiding master of uh, this month for you Capricorns and uh, not only for you Capricorns but just for you know everyone is going to have uh, uh, the effect of the chariot uh, um, supporting them in this month uh, um, as usual I'm, I'm I want to say thank you um, to each and every person please like share and support our channel um, by supporting these videos um, uh, this month um, you if you work with the angel you can um, work with Archangel Metatron Archangel Metatron will be the angel that you can work with in this month which is just going to bring you Archangel Metatron is uh, um, awakened and ready to help people who wants to align themselves uh, um, on a positive uh, way and who want to align themselves with the spirituality okay so we're working with the crown chakra this this month it's all about the crown chakra this month has five weeks five full weeks okay and uh, your focus is going to be the um the eye princess so you're going to be extremely intuitive in this um month you um you capricorns intuition is going to be um, the word of the day intuition you're going to be extremely extremely intuition um, you're going to um, receive messages um, it's as if your antennas has open up <laughs> but it's 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 intuition the eye princess is here working with you um, it's going to be a feminine month for you an extremely feminine month in the sense that the energies of the feminine deities will be working with you um, the Empress is here um, the um, Queen of Cups is here that sort of energies are here so be aware of this month um, there's going to be a lot of changes there's a lot of love a lot of love is coming in in this month okay all right as we look at the month and uh, I've changed up the reading um, each week you are going to have your um, special number um, so in each week because there's five weeks you will have your special number in every week okay so you will not get one um, number for the month but you will get a special number for the week as we look at your first energy um, it is um, the energy um, in the first week it's going to be the energy vibration of uh, the hurt element okay this month it's five weeks the first two and a half weeks is the end the zodiac energy of the hair 
and the rest the last two and a half weeks is going to be the zodiac energy of water and in this week the eye princess is also the energy vibration of water okay so the eye princess this eye princess is working with your intuition it is connecting with you it is making you be aware of certain aspect of yourself it is um, awaken and healing your intuition and it's good to call upon Archangel Annuel you um, Capricorns in this month uh, to awaken you to your true divine potential awaken you to your intuition call upon lady nada and archangel Aniwell to awaken your intuition heal it touch it open and heal your intuition so that you can always connect with them okay it's very good in the first week congratulation it is the world no one else has had the world card so far um, I haven't finished doing the readings but no one else have had the world card this is this this is just so grounded for you Capricorn in this week because what is happening in this week is that the world comes up in the week of the Empress this is going to be a wonderful wonderful powerful powerful week because the energy of the world comes up with the Empress and this is going to bring you um, so much positive things new things are going to come come in the changing of specific things are going to ch come in and this is going to be extremely good for you the energy of the world is the end of a cycle and the beginning of something new and much better a lot of success will be coming at you and you will start seeing that from the first of June a lot of success will be coming in for you and for this this is going to help you to vibrate at a higher energy vibration this is going to bring you as Jupiter is working with you and it's going to bring you wonderful success in your life as we look forward and we um, and and we try to understand what is happening, um, it's changes. You have to make a decision. You have to make a very um, it's, it's a decision that you have to make. It's going. It's not going to be one of the most easiest decision um, in the beginning in the first week, and 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 the decision that you make. Um, you're going to have to live with it for the rest of your life so um, you know be aware of that it's a you know it's a it's not a life um, a life challenging decision it's just a decision that you really have to make okay and what we have uh, the world 21 and 22 um, that is um, 3 and 4 that is 7 and for the first week um, you have the seven okay um, this the number seven the number seven is always that you're on the good part okay the number seven is always uh, a three yeah you're on the good part what is so wonderful about this first week is that with the air uh, with the energy of uh, um, the hurt uh, and the world because the world is always and the world is a supporting energy the Empress is the supporting energy for the Capricorns and the world is also the supporting energy for the Capricorn so this is going to be the first week of June is going to be one of the most powerful powerful weeks that you can ever imagine you have to make decisions that you you know you're not going to be happy with but it's okay as we move on and we look at the energy vibration in the second week we have the energy vibration of the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups energy comes up and this is um, a situation that you have with someone of a water sign so it can be Pisces it can be a Capricorn it can be um, a, a Cancer or a Scorpio so whoever this person is and it can be a man or a woman but here it is the significance um, the information is coming out as the Queen of Chalice some people will have to deal with the Queen of Chalice and some people will have to deal with um, the King of Chalice and there is a significant situation that is happening 
and it's coming to an end okay it's a, um, an healing is coming to this situation and this is actually breaking down and coming to an end so whatever situation that you have to deal with this woman of a water sign woman that has been affecting your life it's coming to an end it's coming to an end and um, healing is coming in um, for a lot of you guys healing is coming in so in the second week um, we 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 are going to be changing position in our life so um, changing position is um, new jobs uh, um, uh, move into a new place that sort of a thing so be aware of this sort of an energy vibration that is happening because changes in the second week because uh, the cleansing and with this woman um, of man that is affecting you Capricorns that has been affecting you Capricorns because the second week is a fire week and this Queen of Cups that has been affecting you she is going to be moved out whatever that was happening she's going to be moved out your position is always so when the position is going to change it's as if um, you got pregnant for some people some people is um, changing of your work uh, changing of your living space um, your traveling changing um, of countries of that sort of a thing so in the second week that sort of energy will come in let's see what we have for numbers we have uh, the um, 17 so that is uh, 1 plus 7 is 8 so you have the number 8 energy in the second week and that is wonderful as we look at the third week we we also have the four of cups a, a little bit of boredom but maybe you start your new work and <laughs> you're feeling bored that sort of a thing but it's it's, it's not for long um, whatever that was happening if there was injustice and imbalances and injustice that has been happening here you are um, here you see that this is going to work out um, <laughs> in a good way um, so be not do not be um, afraid of that sort of a thing because the situation whatsoever that has been happening and whatsoever negativity that has that has been surrounding you and unbalancing that has been surrounding you it works out perfectly and um, people or you are being um, well known um, accommodation accommodation is here for you um, it's as if you're protected by um, the laws you're protected by the laws whatever has been happening to you and and there was a situation with justice and the thing you're protected by the rules and the laws of uh, certain things and certain aspects so this is going to be extremely good it's going to be the first three weeks the wonderful wonderful energy and you're not being bored it's just that in the first week you had to make a, a hard decision um, the second week changes come in you 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 have changed your position in life and um, in the third week you're sitting thinking uh, you know is that was this the right thing that I should have done and uh, is this going to work out and and you're protected by the laws of wherever whatever it is you are protected so um, be aware that you know sometimes we have to make these hard decisions in our life to choose um, for uh, people things and places and um, when we make them we always go back to consider have I made the right choice and this is what is happening in the third week but whatever is happening with the legal system legalities uh, um, whatever legalities is going on um, you're going to be protected um, by the law and protected um, by the law of um, the country or whatever it is but I'm seeing protection I'm also seeing that some people are going to become um, well known and well liked so you some people will be protected by the law and some people are going to become well known and well liked it's as if whatever you're doing or whatever you're trying to um, break out or if you have your own business and that sort of a thing people are going to um, um, connect with you and you're going to see and feel um, that and know that you're protected by the universal laws and the laws okay 
as we move on oh I haven't um, given you the number we have 13 and 4 that is another 17 the energy of the star comes up um, so um, oh my god because 17 <laughs> the 17 and 17 so two times the star two times the energy of the star so this is wonderful as I've always said um, it is better to have two times the, um, the number of the star than having um, a pentacles um, in your reading because these are more powerful the world and um, the star and that sort of a thing these are more p powerful because whenever those things are there um, you know your life um, is going to start changing so you have the number 17 in um, the third week as we look at the fourth week which is a week of an amazing thing because the wheel of fortune is here the wheel of fortune is in the fourth week what is so amazing about this fourth week is that um, the wheel of fortune bring you information bring you um, back stuff that was stolen from you so it's as if uh, um, somebody has stolen something from you and the wheel of fortune is bringing it back to you because uh, um, the energy vibration of uh, it's it is a karmatic thing so you know like as if um, um, yeah your grandmother left you something and they didn't give you the thing and somebody stole it and now as if uh, with a flip of something happening to somebody else or whatever then all of a sudden all that was taken away from you is is, is returned to you because you know this is the situation what people do not understand whenever you this dishonestly try to take something from someone else okay and lie about it and that sort of a thing source the source of all things the creator of all things are watching us everything we do the creator of all things are watching us and we need to understand that because whatever had happened why this situation had happened you are going to realize that whatsoever that was taken away from you injustice is going to return and the wheel of fortune is actually returning this thing to you so this is so wonderful and what is happening is that whatever the the, the um, um, the people stole at had, had stolen whatever the people had stolen um, it will be returned and you should be aware for the people who are trying um, to um, uh, to, 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 to take you for a ride you know and what I mean by people taking you for a ride is that uh, some people are very given and 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 towards family member towards other people and when people realize that you're like that they always try um, to take you for a ride by uh, manipulating you f to always give to them so be aware of this situation it's going to come to an end in the fourth week it's going to come to an end so whatever that is happening in the fourth week the wheel of fortune if you injustice um, things were stolen from you um, you have lost um, things and that sort of a thing the wheel of fortune is going to bring it back to you because this is a karmatic situation this is something that had happened in lifetime and lifetime before that these people have stolen from you and you came back in this lifetime to re and and these things have to be returned by the rules and regulations and the law of the universe you they need to return these things things to you and this is what is going to happen in the fourth week so whatsoever was stolen will be returned whoever that has been um, trying to manipulate you and profit from you and try um, and using you for whatever reason to to get something it's going to come to an end okay in the fourth week so this is a month of good cleansing Woo! this is a month of good cleansing um, for so so many people um, this these cleansing are happening and 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 with these cleansing of uh, the guards changing and this sort of a thing um, you're going to realize how um, significant certain aspect 
of things are happening so this is going to be extremely good okay the number in this week because we have number 23 8 14 oh we had more oh my gosh Wow okay <laughs> all right okay and the fourth week reading isn't over okay okay um whoever has as as you know uh, um try to dishonestly take something from you this is going to be return and with this being return the luck your luck and happiness and joy is going to also um be returned and this is this is very positive um, because um, the energy of this because I, I really didn't see this and all the cards spill over and then I start seeing it um, use work as a little provider and you know this is perfect because um, whatever was stolen to you then your problems and all the things that has been happening in your life will come to an end okay and then um, you will see a better phase in your life coming up and what else is here is that whoever was using you and trying to manipulate you to get certain things that was profiting from you that is also going to come to an eye so June the, the, the fourth week of June is going to be a week of powerful energies you're going to have a uh, um, 25 that's seven a, a, a changing of the guards a moving away um, a victorious successful over something and then you're going to have 14 and 8 that is uh, um, 12 2 and 1 22 22 is you're moving on a new part in your life okay so this is actually very nice for you um, Capricorns because I've, I've never saw it so this is extremely good so there's an end coming in to people who were taking stuff from you and trying to profit from you and um, there's an end coming to that which is very good as we look at the fourth week we have the energy vibration of uh, the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is always uh, the energy of uh, um, things are coming in and um, you are moving to a, a, a different place in your life and um, this Knight of Pentacles um, is bringing you financial abundancy it is coming to you and bringing you financial abundancy it is returning um, the 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 whatever that was stolen financial things that was stolen from you whether it was money places houses uh, cars whatever was stolen from you um, your child um, whatever in your life that was stolen from you that was taken from you um, injustice he is coming in and he's bringing this back to you and by doing that because this is so it's, it's the eye princess is letting you know and there is a strong um, spiritual present that is going to protect you guys in this month there is such a strong project um, because the eye princess is here so whatever has been happening is that the energy of the eye princess is here here in this month to help you guys move through the situation is as if it's the end of May was the end of the negative aspects and now everything that was hidden taken away from you is being returned in your life so it can be it can affect everyone in different ways um, and um, the, the, the strong energy of spiritual of the universal beams are helping you guys in this uh, month so in the last week you're going to feel the energy this is this is strange people this is strange because there's also two energy vibration here and we have the king the king of Pentacles the king of Pentacles so you know the knight of Pentacles so this is wonderful this is a wonderful um, aspect of having the eye princess in our lives because uh, the eye princess comes via our guides and angels and our um, 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 parents and four parents who have gone before us and is helping us with the injustice from the spirit world because they watches over us and obviously that a lot of you Capricorns 
have gone through turmoil injustice people um, using you people taking you for a ride people take things from you injustice uh, that has happened and finally finally um, in this situation is being healed and what is happening now with the healing of the situation um, luck success good things are going to come in your life so you know sometimes when um, the eye princess comes up not a lot of people understand what's the energy vibration for the eye princess and sometimes when the eye princess comes up um, we um, need to understand that um, life is about to change life is about to change because she's going to bring out certain aspect of, um, uh, certain aspect in us uh, and with the, the, the aspect that it's uh, as bringing out in us uh, we are going to see how beautiful the, the things can just change in in the wink of an eye because we are of a positive energy vibration okay and um, by being positive uh, um, you are going to see um, um, how wonderful um, this is going to be and you know positivity in um, in the fourth week uh, is, is, is going to be um, extremely good you know positivity so what's the is happening it's going to be um, good okay let's see because I've changed up the readings um, what is happening and what is happening is that we are um, being very understanding of certain aspects and certain things so um, we need to be understanding of certain aspect that is going on okay um, the energy and uh, number for that week is going to be um, 15 and 1 16 6 and 1 is 7 so there's a lot of sevens meaning that you are on the right part there's a lot of seven meaning that you're on the right part Heart. so whatsoever is happening you need to understand that um, life uh, is going to be wonderful life is going to be wonderful so this is going to be um, extremely extremely good okay so be aware of that so um, let's look further and see um, what else is here it's, it's, it's going to be changing making um, changes making certain changes in your life uh, you need to make certain changes in your life and uh, um, making these changes is going to help you to move uh, um, yourself to some place better in your life uh, you're protected by the laws uh, and that sort of a thing okay let's uh, look at your Sun moon and rising and see what is going to affect your Sun moon and rising I've changed up the readings what is going to affect your Sun moon and rising Okay, Let's see what planetaries are going to affect your sun, moon, and rising. Let's see the planetaries that are going to affect your sun, moon, and rising. The planetary are going to affect your sun, moon, and rising. Everything is okay. Okay, all right. Okay, for the Capricorn Sun um, rising sign, um, that is the people who were born in the day, that is your um, sun sign. And um, what's happening for you guys that is of the sun sign, it's all about the energy of the sun. It's all about bringing things in your life. It's all about cleansing things. It's all about the healing. It's all about... Um, bringing things to light that sort of a thing and you are going to have to deal with a Libra you're going to have to deal with a Libra um, this is going to be the focus and the connection so for you Capricorn Sun rising people um, there is going to be the effect of a Libra of justice or the scale of justice in the two first week for you guys so um, this is um, extremely important that you realize um, that this situation is happening so 
whatsoever is happening the effect of uh, and Libran is going to affect your life so be aware of that and um, it's going to be in a good way because this Libran and this situation with this Libran is brought by by Jupiter so Jupiter um, for you Sun sign people Jupiter has brought this Libran in your life and this is going to be um, good so and if you have something with the justice and legal system you are going to win you are going to win big okay you're going to win big so what's the way is happening um, for you Sun um, sunrise in the Capricorns it's going to be wonderful I am feeling love coming on with the Librans do I agree with this uh, no um, but this person could have Libra Sun Moon and rising sign but he's he or she is bringing luck in your life so go ahead um, for the people who are in the legal system and there is a situation you're going to win big time Jupiter is here and Jupiter is going to bring you lots of luck in the first two weeks so this is going to be wonderful lots of luck is coming in for you guys in the first two weeks so this is going to be good okay as we go forward and we look at what is happening for the moon rising people for the moon rising people which is the intuition that is the part of the intuition the intuition because the moon works with the inner the the um the the connection of uh, um who you are but the uh, the intuition um form um the moon um, rising people are always a very intuition very um, uh, connected to the unseen and 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 this helps them because they are always the best psychic and mediums and that sort of a thing so the Sun sign is always of an higher energy but not really of a psychic so you know the best psychics are always people who are born under the Luna the lunar aspect of uh, um, um, this planet and you're going to have uh, to deal with the Leo's okay Leo's are fire sign people and whatever the situation is uh, the extension of this energy for the Leo's it's going to be one of uh, you know um, Leo's the Leo people are going to some are going to come back in your life some Leo's are going to come back in your life some Leo's are going to be um, according you and uh, trying to connect with you um, and this is this is good this is good there is nothing wrong with this but um, is it in the sense of uh, um, friendship or what but there is situation that you have to clean clean up with Leo's whatever this is however this is affecting you you need to get the situation clean up with Leo's and you are going to see a changes in your life that will be coming in the planetary system um, it's um, Satos and um, this God this Greek God a planetary system is going to come in and work with uh, the uh, Capricorn um, moon rising people okay and that is a uh, Staticus Staticus and Staticus is you know this energy working with um, the Leo is going to be extremely extremely um, powerful it's it's going to come in as overwhelming over powerful um, to you Capricorn moon rising people because um, it's something that you are not expecting because remember um, Sartacus with Jupiter represent um, you know the bonus level of explanation of limitation opportunities okay so there's a lot of opportunities so for the sun rising people they are coming in with um, 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 Libra and Jupiter and that is that is so perfect and with the moon rising people you have Spartacus um, Saturn 
that is working with the Leos and Saturn is your ruling planet for the Capricorns uh, you know this is the God of control reality of the time passing and the movement through the life so you know you can see this happening for um, um, with the Leos uh, but you know remember that the moon energies the moon energies uh, this is you know um, when the moon appear in your you know your chart and your oracle read it it is always a message to listen to your inner voice and guidance and this is you know this is so wonderful because sometimes um, we who were born under the moon sign is 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 is, is extremely extremely highly intuitive highly connected to the unseen world and um, sometimes a lot of people do not understand us why that is so but this is what is happening um, the last and final card um, which I'm going to do that is for um, the vortex and yeah I know it has run out it's a lot of time but it's very important the vortex what does the vortex have for the Capricorn people and it says my manifestation are the indicators of my belief and and this is it so again um, the, the vortex is, is, is letting us know that whatever we think whatever we manifest uh, it is um, what of our beliefs um, it is always true that whatever you are living always match your um, chronic vibrational pattern or belief and or does not matter if you have uh, no excitement uh, cause for your negative thoughts uh, and negative emotion they will equally equalize and equal out points of attraction what is the manifestation on the higher level and on the lower level to uplift you in life is an indication of the beliefs you hold and your chronic pattern of thoughts oh my god this is so good this is good this is this is extremely wonderful because I've constantly also for myself because it was not easy to constantly just start thinking positive it you know it took me a while it took me a while so it's not easy so I'm not going to say to you guys you know it's the easiest things to do no because you're constantly having these negative negative thoughts so I ask my ego to go away and I and I ask myself and I ask my mighty I am present self in the morning please place me in the energy of positive thoughts this is wonderful to get for you Capricorns because um, I know how it is sometimes you're trying to be positive and then something comes up and then you just uh, uh, vroom to the negative um, aspect but you need to understand that the vibration of patterns or the belief and it doesn't matter if you have an um, excellent um, X, X a cost for your negative thoughts and negative emotion they will still equal up your point of attention um, what is transpired we need to understand that we need to change this and I'm saying to you it has been a wonderful journey I love this reading for the month of June it's a month of June is going to be the changing of the guards so try and understand that we need to do this and I'm saying namaste until next week next month <laughs> next week also